after watching Jim Jones and uh, Rick Ross reaction to D1, I'm like, oh, man, they clowns for that. I thought they was clowns for that. But man, I didn't know Joe Button can top their clownish and buffoonery behavior. The way Joe Button reacted to D1, man, Joe Button gets the clown crown of the year. It's not about how much Bible chapter and verse you know. It's about how much Bible you willing to obey. Now, everybody know Joe Bunn has a history of talking crazy and um, and he's very opinionated in his point of views on artists and the culture of hip hop. You know, sometimes I agree with him. Sometimes I don't agree with him. That's just the nature of following people on social media. You can g agree to disagree. But Joe Button recent reaction to D1 critique of hip hop culture, which is a valid critique, might I add. He had me lose all respect, you know, for him as a whole. I lost all respect for Joe Button as a whole. It is one thing to have a different you know, opinion based upon, you know, people, your point of view. But it's another thing to completely dismiss and disrespect and, and incite violence on someone just for expressing their thoughts. D1's critique was very thoughtful analysis of the current state of hip hop and the impact it has on society. Instead of engaging in a constructive conversation, Joe, Joe Button chose to belittle, dismiss, and incite violence on D1 as if D1 is some type of gangster on the streets. Then he had the nerve to say, you know, someone will shoot your Christian bleep. You learn the way other people learn that you can't just talk about people. I'm telling you, as somebody that knows the history of the people that you speaking about, leave niggas alone, especially niggas that will shoot your Christian ass. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Joe, that's that wasn't cool, dog. That's not how you have a healthy discourse. Why you had to come at, you know, D1 like that? He didn't come at no one disrespectful. No one disrespectful. In fact, he started off his his critique on by saying he loved that person. And then he proceeded to critique, you know, their lyrics, which which is it is, you know, it's a problematic in the community because we know they don't live that type of way. They can use their influence and power for a different, you know, point of view. But I'm gonna get to that in later. I'm gonna get to that later in the podcast. Joe, you are a social media, you know, hip hop influencer. People follow you. You have a uh, a huge following. You should not be talking like that towards somebody who's not, you know, moving like the dudes that you critique moving. Listen and learn, Joe. D1 uses his influence to try to influence celebrities who have the broader influence to help build and structure our community in a productive manner. Because if you haven't noticed, Joe, the black community is in shambles politically, relationally and all the other stuff. So whether you disagree with how D1, you know, uh, said or what he said, whether you disagree with how he said it. The, his message was very clear. These rappers truly need to stop promoting sex, money, drugs, and violence to our community. Okay, they got on that way, but they didn't have to. They don't have to continue that way. You know, I love how D One respond back to Joe Button, and it was very graceful. If you ask me, man, shout out to you, D One. Oh wow, shoot my Christian, I. Bet. So you inviting violence, you trying to egg it on, and you would never in a billion years say that about a Jewish or a Muslim person. I know you wouldn't. And you, you, you still talking about me on your podcast, but I guarantee you don't want to talk to me because I think you feared that that would end up making you look real bad. It's something about the light in me that's irritating something inside of you because all I'm doing is talking about accountability in the culture. And here you are inviting violence, showing religious disrespect. And just moving with anger and cockiness. Think about that. D1 believes that celebrities hold a lot of power and influence. And they should use their platform to bring about positive change within our community. That is a valid concern. He advocates for a shift away from the promotion of the negative and ratchet behaviors, such as drugs use and the violence and calling women this bees and, you know, and all the other stuff. Instead of encouraging and promoting that stuff, you know, D1, you know, feel like 
those rappers should uh, put a positive message, more of a, a more of a positive message out there that brings value to our community, that brings education to our community and all the rest of this stuff that a lot of these other communities is doing for their community. We should be doing that. But instead of seeing D1 as an advocate who love his community, y'all see him as a threat. Y'all see him as a problem. And get out of here. Listen, this is to the rappers who has influence. Y'all made it. Y'all are successful. Y'all kids are protected and go to the great, the better schools and getting good education because y'all are successful. And it's time to start building banks for the community. Let's, it's time to start building grocery store chains in our community. Help get the proper protection and policing for our community because we know that the black community is over policed and they locking people up for minor offenses and put, giving them lengthy jail times. Man, we see all the stuff that's happening in the black community. And a lot of these rappers, I mean, a lot of these kids, even their parents look up to y'all, even though y'all say it's just entertainment. Y'all can say it's just entertainment all you want, but y'all know the impact y'all have on the culture. Real rap. Your turkey drives and giving out bikes and book bags is that need no brown drug dealer mentality. We don't need that in the community. It don't work in the community. Y'all want to give out bikes and backpacks and all that stuff while y'all still putting drugs and, and guns and inciting violence and committing violence in the community. A lot of y'all Y'all know y'all say y'all gang members. Y'all say y'all got people under y'all that are putting work. This is what y'all saying, y'all music. And guess what? We know that I know y'all not gonna get on here and say that because of what's going on and uh with uh with um young thug, but come on, ain't nobody stupid. Everybody know how y'all moving. Here's what's crazy. Joe Button just had a crazy interaction with NBA Youngboy. NBA young boy came back at Joe Button real aggressive on that gangster tip. And like literally the next day, Joe Button issued a pol an apology. Boy, it's a lot worse. I owe NBA young boy an apology too. Let's you start do. with accountability. You I owe know. him an apology. Yes. He don't even bother nobody. Mm. He don't even bother nobody. And the pod was over. Yeah, we D1 responded to Joe Button real respectful. And Joe Button didn't apologize to D1. We see where his mindset at. He, they, they, re, as much as these social media influence talking about we need to change in hip hop, we need to stop the violence. They, they only respect the gangsters. They not, they don't respect people who come to them meek and humble and really want to advocate for change in our community. They don't respect them. People, they respect the gangsters. America have an infatuation with respecting gangsters. They kill off and they damage and they, they write off the people who really want change, but they, they, they look at the gangsters as, as people to honor. They back, the black community is backwards on this. And Joe Budden, you are backwards on this. But yeah, man, I'm about to wrap this up. But yo, shout out to all the celebrities that show D1 love and support under his post on his IG post. Y'all go follow D1. Shout out to Waka Flocka, Kid Capri, DJ Jazzy Jeff, and many more that show love and support for D1, man. Y'all y'all are the real ones. And I, I'm grateful that y'all are speaking up and be like, yo, you know what? What he's saying is, is is, is 100. Nas, you know, shouted him out. Man, it's it's dope, man. And guess what? I support D1 too. I'm in the fight with you, D1. I'm using my platform to further help build our community and push our community forward by giving them identity in Christ, helping them understand economics, and help them understand that education is needed to empower the next generation, man. Hey, man, I thank y'all for rocking out with me. It's your boy, Reese Johnson. This is the Gutter and Saint Podcast. Do something for the Gutter and Saint Podcast today. Go down to the description area and you're going to see gasmerch.com. And look, I got this Gutter and Saint purple um sweatshirt we got the hoodies we got the t-shirts and we got many more other you know items in our gasmerch.com store man i thank y'all for rocking out with me and i see y'all on the next one peace it's not about how much bible chapter and verse you know it's about how much bible you willing to obey Pray, preach.